Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So this is the Raddy RF320, an interesting design shortwave receiver that also covers the FM broadcast band, weather channels, air band, and even goes up and beyond the two meter handband. Now, Bluetooth is also supported, which provides a couple of different features. You can use the free downloadable Android or iOS app to completely control the RF320. Or you can use the Bluetooth audio feature, making this into a portable amplified speaker. There's also a couple of extra nice features, which we'll talk about later. Now, SSB is not an option on this radio, meaning you can't listen to any of the ham transmissions, etc., on the HF bands or where the frequency covers on this radio. But it does demodulate AM when on the medium wave or air band. The well written manual is completely in English and the included leaflet provides QR codes so you can download that app with ease. Now also in the box we find a shoulder strap, USB-C cable which can be used for charging or connecting to your computer, and turning this into a USB speaker. We also get a wire antenna which has a little crocodile clip on one end and a loop on the other, presumably for helping with the reception depending on what band you're listening to. The RF320 does have its own included inbuilt telescopic antenna, although it's not that particularly long. Also included is a small little screwdriver, which can be used to open the battery compartment. Also included is an in-ear pair of headphones. Now the RF320 comes in a nice little carry case, so it's always protected if traveling or you're going down the beach and need some kind of audio entertainment. Now the first thing I thought when I opened the packaging to see the RF320 for the first time was that it doesn't know whether it's a retro or modern radio. Well for sure under the hood it's definitely a modern radio and that large retro style dial does actually serve a purpose and that is to change frequencies extremely quickly. Now along with the LCD and soft rubber function buttons we also find a front facing speaker. The left side of the radio we find an LED torch. Now what radio would be complete without a torch right? On the right hand side we have two 3.5mm audio sockets. One is for headphones and one is for an auxiliary input which you can connect to other audio sources. There's also a USB socket for charging or acting as a USB speaker and then we have the micro SD card slot which can be used to either record audio onto or play audio files from, such as MP3s. There's also a VFO tuning wheel at the top for a more fine-tune adjustments. The step can also be changed using the step button on the front panel. Now on the rear we have the battery compartment, QR codes for the app and this super bass subwoofer speaker. Now you might be thinking this is a bit of a gimmick, but actually, believe me, this little radio packs some serious audio punch, especially when listening to broadcast FM band or playing music from an external source. Obviously that's going to be very difficult to demonstrate in a video. The RF320 has a scan feature which can be activated from the VFO or the tune buttons on the front panel. Now broadcast FM and medium wave worked very well while I was indoors, but I wanted to see how good the airband reception was. Unfortunately, it wasn't really that good indoors, even with the wire antenna clipped to the telescopic antenna. Obviously, not having a properly tuned antenna was most likely the cause. So I took the RF320 outside and gave it a test on a couple of different bands. Play there, there's 15, 14 and a half of the 90 left here at Anfield, Liverpool nil, Aston Villa one and a reminder of state. Now, as mentioned earlier, the RF320 can also act as a Bluetooth speaker. And although it will be difficult to demonstrate this 100% on video, here's a little example of how that works. Station, 
Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now as well as connecting via Bluetooth from a device like a phone or a tablet, if you use the included USB cable and plug it into your computer, the RF320 becomes an audio device, which means you can play audio directly to it from your computer. So here's the good news. I have one of these RF320s to give away to one lucky subscriber of this channel. Now all you need to do is leave a comment on this video telling me what you like and what you don't like about this product. You must be a subscriber and you also need to include the hashtag TechMinds at the end of your comment. Now the winner will be randomly picked using an automatic website once this video reaches 10,000 views or in exactly two weeks from the day this video is released, whichever comes first. I will most likely live stream the draw so that you can see that it's been done fairly. So make sure to be subscribed so you're notified when I announce the winner. Anyway guys, that's something a little bit different for the channel. And incidentally, I'm launching a new channel soon. So watch out for news about that. Anyway, take care, stay safe. See you in the next one. Oh, and good luck.